Uh, VV ACMO is a technique where uh, we just uh, remove uh, deoxygenated blood from the body. And if you circulate this blood to an oxygenator membrane, and then it goes back to the body. It has nothing to do with the heart. It's just completely isolating lung. So why are we doing this? It's just a, te a temporary mechanical support so that we can allow ultra protective lung ventilation to avoid any barotrauma, volley trauma, giving rest to lungs so that they have chance to recover. So basically principal goal of VV ECMO is just to drainage as much as deoxygenated blood from large vein, then pumps it through the extra extracorpular circuit where the artificial lung oxygenates the blood and removes carbon dioxide. And then this oxygenated blood returns to the patient's right atrium. As you can see, it is not bypassing her. So it has nothing to do with the heart. It's just a pure respiratory bypass. Um, so what are the uh, indications for VV ECMO? So as per ELSO guidelines, a patient who is having hypoxemic respiratory failure and continuously low PF ratio below 80. And uh, we have done everything for the patient, including uh, APRV, all kinds of ventilator support. And uh, we have done a trial of prone positioning as well, and patients not improving. In those patients, normally ECMO can be offered. Uh, sometimes uh, ECMO can be offered uh, hypercapnic respiratory failure patients, such as uh, patients with uh, severe bronchial asthma, where there is uh, no problem in oxygenation, but because of low minute ventilation, we are not able to remove carbon dioxide, and already patient is on maximum ventilator support, and patients is at very high risk of developing barotrauma. Uh, ventilator support can also be used as a bridge to lung transplantation when there is a, when there is a patient who is a potential candidate for lung transplant and he's deteriorating. Uh, so these are some specific uh, clinical condition. Uh, so ARDS, we all know, we used it in H1N1. We used it in COVID, sometimes in acute eosinophilic pneumonia, diffuse alveolar hemorrhage. We can use it in diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, provided condition is reversible. Severe bronchial asthma, yes, we used it in severe bronchial asthma as well. Thro uh, thoracic trauma, so as a historically first uh, ECMO was done in a trauma patient, so yes, we can do it in thoracic trauma patients as well. Severe inhalational injury, just to give lung some rest and give uh, uh, some time for lung to recover and uh, large bronchopleural fistula. So these are some specific clinical conditions where we can use ECMO. There are many other clinical conditions, but these are some common conditions we are doing ECMO. And of course, we are using uh, Murray score sometimes to find out if a, it's a patient is a con uh, candidate for ECMO. This is not a hard and fast rule. So you, you may or may not use Murray score. Please use your clinical judgment, clinical consideration, because Murray score and all these indications are just as a, uh, use them as a guide, not as a high, uh, like all or none phenomena that uh, if patient is not meeting the criteria, then you will not offer uh, ECMO. It's not like that. You can offer ECMO, use your clinical judgment, your clinical consideration and individual, uh, individualize all patients according to situation. There are some contraindications of VV ECMO. So to be honest, there is no uh, absolute contraindication, but there are some relative contraindication for VV ECMO, which is like patient is having central venous, uh, central nervous system, hemorrhage, intracranial bleed, significant uh, CNS injury, irreversible, incapacitating uh, CNS pathology, systemic bleeding. If there is contraindications to anticoagulation, all these patients, so it's a bit uh, controversial. So sometimes uh, we have offered patients to more than 60 years patients, and sometimes uh, we don't offer ECMO to more than 50 years as well. So it depends. Uh, just all these shouldn't be used as a sole criteria. We should take account of comorbidities and uh, frailty of the patients. Mechanical ventilation for more than seven days with a plateau pressure more than 30. So 
it's also controversial we have used ecmo up to 14 days or maybe more days when, when patient was on very high ventilator support including high platelet pressure of course patient normally have uh, lots and lots of lung trauma ventilator induced lung injuries but we have used ecmo in those patients at, as well of course outcome is not so great but there is nothing to lose to be honest <laughs> <laughs>